Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And as you can see, I have got with me a part of history. Look at that. The Lonsdale, Lord Lonsdale belt. And if you're lucky enough to even inhale the same breath as me tonight when I'm in the pub, I can let you know that I've been with a Lonsdale belt. I've had this on me before, if you remember, outside Ponds Ford when uh, there were you and Liam Cameron. I had Liam Cameron's Commonwealth and your British dinner, Wait, Jenkinson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Press it, won it, press conference. But, uh, but yeah, that's a fantastic belt. And that is the Outlaws. <laughs> How are you doing, Josh? Yeah, I see you, nice yeah, pal. Good YouTube, pal. You alright? What have you been up to since I last seen you? Yeah, uh, just training hard, pal. Obviously, I've, uh, I've just it's been announced for uh, IBF, IBF, uh, sorry, IBF, IBO um, international title. So Williams. Yeah, Felix Williams um, from Guyana. So I had a cat called Felix in the year 2000. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I've been training hard for that, pal. So. And I don't mean to put in here, but the story with that cat, I'm not going to say the girl's name or who I was with. Her uncle, who lived in the spare bedroom, he was called Dave Jules, and his boxing name, his name's Dave John, and he beat Peter Fury in Peter Fury's only professional fight. And the cat's called Felix that we had. And you, you're fighting for me. <laughs> I've got some issues on that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. how are you doing, Josh? Are you all right? Yeah, good pal, training right. hard. Yeah, let me, let me get behind the other end of the camera. Like, I don't want to make it about me. Yeah. Uh, next thing, I'll be walking up pitch with the bands when you get your IBO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how you been anyway? Yeah, all good. Um, How's family, Josh? Yeah, they're all good. How's camp going? Uh, you've roughed your dempsey up, it sounds. He's got <laughs> well marked on his forehead. It just uh, You're punching harder. Yeah, I feel good at this weight. I'm, uh, you know, I've had two good performances. Uh, I'm happy how uh, uh, it's been going. My dad's happy. Um, I mean, training. I'm, uh, I keep proving people wrong. That's what I do yeah. throughout my career. Um, I've lived life, I you getting to this stage of my career, uh, it paid dividends what I've done in my uh, in my previous years, you know, I've lived right, I've uh, tried to conduct myself in the right manner and uh, I'm ready for a uh, good good push on now mate. I've just spoke to Dennis actually before uh before I come in here actually and uh, you've probably heard that there's <laughs> a front of board on Sunday, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. Not we can do about that, but everything's alright. We're, we're, we're sound. Uh, we're, uh, we've been, I've been invited to do a video at Ghost Spice, all right. you know, to give some PR. Yeah. So, uh, he's a friend of your dad's and John Joe's, isn't he? And you, your yeah, dad, yeah, dad, yeah. yeah Lal, la, la, is he? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he comes. Uh, when we have a show and that, he comes and supports yeah, them. Yeah, like so. next door, he, yeah. he uh, said we, uh, you want to come down with Dennis and do a video and I'll uh, scram you up. Yeah. Says, uh, Dennis says, yeah, that's nice, that. he's a nice guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all nice, isn't it, if you like curry and you meet at spicy food and that. Obviously, yeah. I don't have no breakfast in my band, but... But we, we spoke about uh, your opponent and that. He's done well for you there, hasn't he? Because obviously he's delivered, hasn't he? You're going to get a he's title shot. He's delivered, he's been true to his word. He's Everything Dennis has told me, he's, uh, he's done it. So. Everything else we, we, uh, we deal after you're happy with Oh, brilliant. Ever since, ever since I've signed for Dennis, everything he's, he's told me, he's delivered. And that, yeah. Well, it is with Den, like, and, and you probably know yourself, he's not one of them that's going to say, oh, we're going to do this and going to that. If, 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 so, like, you get, there's a lot of misleading goes on in boxing, isn't there? Yeah, I think he's... Uh, he, he, done, he keeps his car close to his chest unless there's something happening. Yeah. It's all like my dad, that, yeah. that, that kind of that kind of area, if, if they tell you something's going to happen. Very gonna, similar. Yeah, if they tell you something's going to happen, it's going to happen, you know, if it ends, they'll, they'll not say all. Why, why trap nonsense? Yeah, yeah, the, uh, and I like that. that, that's how we work, you know, it's how we work as people. Yeah. I've, uh, I've really enjoyed my time working with Dennis and it's going up a level now and 
we're, uh, we're ready for it. Yeah. I've just been speaking to your dad there about uh, my granddad. He's obviously died in uh, 2014, age 89. Uh, or eight, 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 no, 2015 actually, or 14. I think it was, anyway, we're 89. Well, Bruce Woodcox from Edlington, you yeah, know, the heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can tell you a few tales about Bruce Woodcock. Tyson yeah. Fury told me one where they brought down on Old North Bridge next to Donkey Chas Prison. Right, yeah. And Tyson's an historian, he's telling me this story. He sat on Edge at Ring at Peter's mm. Gym and he says, they, br they were dressed as women, you know, Bruce and his yeah, three yeah. mates, and they had to push the, the car of at North Bridge. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you another Bruce Woodcock story. He had Tumblr pub, but when, before he went landlord of there, when he used to walk in there with his missus on a Saturday night, people used to stand up and clap. Okay. So I said to my granddad, well, why did they do that? My granddad there, we, we, uh, we know false teeth. He said, well, why do you think? I'm going to be his champion in the house here, stand up and clap! <laughs> and I think that, at the moment, is lost on this boxing crowd at the moment, John. Yeah, I, I'd have, uh, if I would have won a British title in my career, I'd have been gutted, you know. I drew against Gavin McDonald. Uh, if you hadn't have won it, you mean? Yeah, yeah, I drew against Gavin McDonald. I, I drew, um, I lost against James Dickens, he had a couple of points off. Then I thought to me, am I ever going to get it? Then, then I got over the line and fit, fit the temp. But I wouldn't have stopped. I wouldn't have stopped until I got it. Um, it was, you know, I think it's best for the world, isn't it? I mean, don't get me wrong. This, this IBO, it's history, isn't it? yeah, this IBO, it'll be brilliant. And if I, oh god, yeah, if I, world I oh world. yeah, if I, if I box a world title, I mean, the, the brilliant. I mean, you can't, you can't explain what you have, but to win British, that, that's. I promised my dad when I was eight year old. Uh, I've won him a British title, and I've won him a British title, so I'm happy. Uh, yeah. I can always remember my dad took me to watch John Joe Irwin at Doncaster Door. John Joe's got one, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, and uh, he said that's best belt, that's, that's best belt in boxing. Yeah. And I always remember it, and uh, I'm lucky enough to 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 win one British title. So yeah. I think yeah. I think every I think that goes for it. Every boxer, I think the uh, the long long as it British title, the proper one, it's. Uh, if you, if you win that, you, you're happy. Oh, it's a, it's a British title, isn't it? I mean, yeah. when all said and done, how many people have, 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 have uh, won them? Not that many, is there? No. Boxes, no. no. Not reads, not about one. No, I think, I think it's, uh, I think it's an honour to, to box for one. Yeah, of course. I think is, yeah. Uh, I'm lucky enough. I've, I've won uh, every border control title. Area English and British, and you know, yeah. you've got you've got you've got to set off doing that. Uh, a lot of people now don't they go off different directions. You know, they uh, they have a good arm, different rules, but you've got to set off with your central area English and British. If, you, if you're lucky enough to win them, then you can start thinking about going different different avenues. Me, but that's that's just me. I'm, yeah. I mean, I could be old school. Some people think. Uh, it's a business and you do this and you do that. Yeah. That's up to them, but for me, that that's what I'd be telling lads in here that I want. It's got to be a yardstick for where you find your levels, are Yeah, it? yeah, I think, um, like you said, pal, it's, it's all about levels in this game. Mm. There's six levels in that area, English, British, Commonwealth, European and world. Obviously, you put Commonwealth below British. Yeah. But well, that's, the area, that's the level for now we read it off as a tongue, but it should yeah. be area, English, Commonwealth, British, yeah. Yeah. European world, should yeah. it? Right, I put European and the British is the yeah. same. Yeah, pro probably, I, I think I think it's it's, uh, it's that well governed by British border control. Yeah. I mean, people can, ah, oh, this and that, but, you know, there's mandatories, there's challenges, um, sometimes some challenges getting up, you know, People can say, but I think it is governed well. And uh, if you if you've won a British title, boss one, you, you've earned it because you'll have had to come through area English to get there. Yeah. If you uh, if you're not got a massive promoter, that's what you've got to do. Yeah. Yeah. I I uh, I tend to agree with you there, and I think that if you can get another belt, Josh, an IBO international belt, I think that in it, you've just got to keep going for that and keep yeah. going and going, haven't you? Because you've got your area, you've got your English, you've got your British, 
get an IBO International, what after that the sky's the limit. You yeah. get an IBO World Ranking. Yeah. You could be in a world title fight in I don't know, in America yeah. next year. Could yeah, that's cool. So, that's what I said too much. On yeah, it. That, that, that's what we're going there's for. A lot, all, there's a lot and, going on behind the scenes. You know, I, I just gotta keep winning and keep performing like I'm performing. I've shocked a lot of people. People was for oh, he's, he's going to featherweight. No, yeah, you know all that, but you know. The yeah, I've seen people at featherweight yeah. beating them up, Josh. Yeah, that's what I. And I'm stopping kids that don't get stopped. Yeah, and I'm performing in gym. I think that's a big, it's a big thing for me. So massive thing. Yeah, isn't it? huge. Yeah. And uh, and you know what? You be, you're doing personal best, aren't you? With uh, running and that. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you, you, you're not dieting, are you? No, I've. Uh, that that's when you're a bantamweight, or camp, you know, you, you think about your weight and that all the time. We now are at featherweight, and I just think me as a person, I'm, I'm more sw more sorted to it. You know, I feel a lot more comfortable, and that's when my best performance come out. Um, I've I've still got a lot, 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 lot more to give to boxing you, and people find it extraordinary that you've had 13 years uh, as a professional, and you know I've had 20 odd, 10 and 12 rounders, but. Still think there's a lot, lot more to. Uh, well, I think yeah. what it is, it's a testament to your upbringing that you yeah. had from your dad because obviously your dad is uh, quite strict, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah. Strict, I know we're always around you. Yeah. You're very grounded, aren't you? Uh, there's no plant pots in this gym. There's no divas, is there? No, no. There ain't none at home, is there? You're all say what, yeah. what, what. What are you all like at dinner time? You know, at, uh, at Sunday dinner at your mum's. <laughs> yeah. What's it's, that like? Does everybody behave? Was your kids? Yeah. Running, do your kids go running around punching yeah, people the, all the time? Yeah. Well, he's got he's got he's got seven grandsons as well now, oh. and my dad so uh, three sons, seven grandsons, and you know, my dad's my hero. You know, he, yeah. he's uh, he's everything. You know, and, and I just brought his three lads up to yeah. you know to show respect, obviously. Dempsey's coming into boxing, professional boxing now, and he's had one and won it. So if he can, uh, you know, fight it now after you, innit? Eh? Yeah, week before. Week before, yeah. the 22nd. Yeah, tw yeah 22nd. 23rd. Yeah, 23rd, I think. Yeah. Is it a Saturday? Yeah, it is a Saturday, yeah. 23rd before, then. Yeah. So you're up in four weeks today, Josh. Yeah. And how's your weight? What are you weighing? Yeah, I, 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 I was 9 stone 9 yesterday. So you got £2 a week? Too, yeah, and that, that's easy, pal. Uh, you know, me weight. I don't even. You know, that just comes off. We are trading. What we what what what's the exact weight for the other one? Was it one eighteen? Oh, well, one eighteen is a bantamweight, and one twenty and one twenty six is a featherweight. So it's an eight, eight pound difference, obviously. So uh, yeah, and, and also, no, I thought featherweight were one thirty. You know, that's super no, feather, isn't it? Yeah. So and, and bantam is one eighteen. Yeah. So it, so there's eight pound different. Eight pound different, yeah. That eight pound, do you feel the difference? Oh, yeah, massive. Four bags of sugar. Yeah, massive. massive. And, when you, and, when, and when you're down, wait, anybody will tell you. Uh, half a pound, half a pound of water weight. When you're down, when you're down half. I, I, will, I will probably walk in around nine stone, nine stone nine as a bantamweight, so I'd have a stone and three pound to lose. So you're moving up then, Josh, two weight classes from what you were. Mm. This time last year, you were a bantam, weren't you? Yeah. It's like eight pound. That's like middleweight to super middle. Yeah. It's like Eubank to coming from middle to super middle. Yeah. It's a big difference because look at Eubank against Callum Smith in size. Yeah, and I think I think it's more more prominent with uh, with little men because obviously yeah. there's normally only four pound uh, weight weight gaps between them as you get bigger. Obviously from super middle to like heavy and stuff, there's bigger gaps. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's a little man, but uh, listen, I've, I've been I've been a featherweight since I've been 12 years old. I've never grown, you know. Yeah. I got to my first national final, 57 kilos, which is nine stones as an amateur. So, you know, people think it's strange. I even got to, I even boxed at 60 kilos one year mm -hmm. and 63 kilos. So, I was a little little and chubby. So, uh, I've you know, it's no different to me. Yeah. Um, uh, big things to come up featherweight. I think you know what? Big things to come at featherweight. Hey, listen. I'm quietly, I'm quietly confident. What if uh, Dennis got you a title fight uh, super feather? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd be. Uh, I think you're really a super bantam, a blonde super <laughs> bantam, aren't you? Really? No, I'm featherweight's my way. I, 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 don't, I won't go to super feather. Featherweight's my way.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope that uh, everything goes all right for you on the 29th. It's been cleared then, has it? The yeah, yeah. The board passed yeah. it. Yeah. So Josh Wales going to fight Felix Williams, who's 27 and 1. 20, 20, 20 knockouts, yeah. 28 fights, he's got one defeat. 20 of them early bath, iced. 20 of them early doors, so he can punch. Yeah. He's tall as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's tall. 5'9 and a half, yeah, is yeah, he? Yeah, yes, yes. Well, he's got a longer reach than you. He's got a better punch KO ratio than you. And it's a title fight. You're trying to talk me out, are you? Yeah. <laughs> He's not looking. <laughs> no, no, listen. It's, it's, a, it's a good fight. Uh, I'm just saying he's not... Uh, this guy's no mug, is he? No, no, pal. I mean, yeah. I mean, two, two of them were brutal knockouts. Yeah. I've seen footage, mate. Yeah. So you're in with a big bunch of but yeah. If you win this, the sky's the limit. Listen, I'm, I'm a, throughout my career, I've never said, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. I'm, what's going to do to this kid? Uh, you know, I'm just confident. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you know you've got an air about you, Josh. Yeah. I'm not just saying it because we're pals. You've got an air of confidence that I've not seen before. Yeah, yeah. I'm like you've got a bit of swagger about yeah. you. It's not like you, Josh. <laughs> but I'm just... Uh, no divas allowed in here, Josh. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, keep me out. We're just... Uh, I'm ready for a big performance on 29th and... Uh, what have you... What have finished to year, Josh? Yeah, if, if Felix Williams comes out and... Uh, Comes to fight me like he's done his rest and he's in trouble. But you know they don't, oh, yeah. they don't come out to fight me, pal. They come out, they come to box me. That, that's what they do. Is this the fourth fight? Are you for you this year, Josh? Yeah, fourth fight. Yeah. So you've been active this year, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, really. Very active. And yeah. um, Dennis has got you out again in February. Yeah. After this yeah, one. Yeah, homecoming. Yeah, Barnsley. Yeah. Uh, and you're happy. You're happy, aren't you? Yeah. You know where you are, don't you? For and how long are you having off after 29th, Josh? Is it two weeks? Yeah, yeah. No, I'll probably have a week off. Though. I a week off? What are we all going to do? Go away or something? Yeah, right? yeah, probably. Yeah. Then, uh, obviously, I've got kids on that with Christmas and stuff like that, but I'll be straight back in us February. Straight do you have back. a week off at Christmas, Josh? Uh, or you just take over? Not really. We, we have Christmas Day off in here. Just so Christmas yeah, Day? Yeah, Christmas Day, then we're back in Boxing Day, training mm. kids. So. That's good. Yeah. But, it's nice to see you this, uh, you're like, uh, what's the word now, I'm not going to say old war horse, you're like <laughs> the elder statesman of boxing Josh for a little man, 31 yeah. now, yeah. British champion, are you going for a, a, a yeah. minor version of a world title? Yeah, uh, still, still got a uh, short young one's out, it's done am I? That's the yeah, it's uh, this time next year Josh, I'm predicting that you will fight for a world title. Yeah, appreciate Any one of the five belts, yeah. I think you could be fighting one, and I think it might be abroad. Yeah. But it'd be nice to get it in Barnsley, wouldn't it, Josh? Oh, it'd be lovely to get it in Barnsley. I mean, that's my old town, mate, isn't it? That's where it's mm. about. But born, you know, born and bred here. But it's, uh, you know, wherever it comes in, if somebody offers you a world title, probably doesn't matter where it is. You know, it could be, uh, could be in Australia. You take it. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pleased, and it's good things happen to good people. Josh. Yeah, I appreciate it. Paul. No yeah. problem, mate. I've, uh, we do his best, mate, don't we? we do, yeah, and is everything all right? No hand injuries, no injuries no. whatsoever. All good, Paul. All is, good. We, you been sparring today? Yeah, yeah, I sparred at Adam City there. How'd that go? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. My dad asked me to uh, go in and move him around and show him a few. Move him around, all his heads off. No, there's two heads. My dad wants me to, uh, you know, just just show him a few, uh, few uh, pro tricks. Like, Has so. he coming on? Yeah, he's coming on well. We're impressed with him. He's uh, he's getting really uh, fit and he's getting seasoned to it. It's good. Is your mum coming to the fight? Uh, yeah, my mum will be coming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's coming. Yeah. You're so. going. Yeah, yeah, they'll all be there. Oh, gang will be there. He's going, your yeah. Gwyn's mate, is it Danny, is it? Tyson yeah, 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 yeah. He's a nice kid, isn't he? Yeah, they, they all come. I mean, there's, there's loads of them. They've all supported me for years. I mean, I take a good uh, good following. I'm from Barnsley, and yeah. obviously that's been in Sheffield. You know, it's a good following. Then, um, really looking forward to February in Barnsley, because, you know, that's uh, that's my hometown. That's, you know, I'll, I'll do double in, in Barnsley. So. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, uh, Oakwell. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd you be me. Josh, you're yeah, a yeah, fan, yeah. Yeah, there ain't there much le left to, for me to achieve in my career, but that that that'd be one of them, definitely, mate. Yeah. You know, well, 
Well, have to get you with Bob. <laughs> <laughs> told. I don't know if I, I'm going to tell you something now. Uh, I don't know if your dad's told you. Spencer Fearon's called me out on Twitter, so we're going to fight for right. charity. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to get at it in February or March, so we're all being well. Yeah. So you're you going to get your same fit then? Yeah, you might, you might be seeing me down here a couple of days a week getting me some sorted. You can't be getting nice, got my father uh, will be talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to, I'll have to come down and get a few pointers off you, Josh. Yeah, that's it. All right. right. Yeah, definitely. Well, listen. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, if, just told me. If it's for a good cause. I'll, I'll tell you that off the uh, camera. Right. All right, then. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's fantas fantastic sport. Shout out to Nicola, Climber Cool. Shout out to JJ Crump and Son. Shout out to Sean over there. The, uh, <laughs> the, the, the uh, Mickey's Whale. Uh, all the best, Sean. You take care. The Mickey's Whale Padman and shout out to Edlington Motors, alright? And our Innovation Alloys, peace.